told me keep it cool. I got no chill. They told me keep it cool. I got no chill. Coulda did him dirty, but I kept it so skrill. Grimy season, grimy season, he just so skrill. Hey, y'all, 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 what's shaking, Turkey Bacon? is your host with the toast, Doc Mom Bender, and this is Doc's Rants. Ice Spice, let's talk! First time on the chopping block. Just dropped her Y2K album. People hating. Talk about she's creatively stagnant and only got one flow. And actually, there was like four trending stories with Ice Spice in the last two days. A lot going on. We got two of those stories that involve an artist named Cleopatra, beautiful black queen. She apparently, uh, she went on tour with Ice Spice. It was the Y2K tour. She and her manager took the tour on short notice, expecting certain accommodations that I guess didn't happen for her. You know, I guess she assumed that she would get the perks big and established artists get when they go on these tours. She did not get those. They ain't have no food for her backstage. <laughs> She had to get changed in the pissy floor bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get in front of mud. There was also another story where she said Ice Spice would be claiming her father is black, or always claims that her father is black. Uh, Cleopatra says she met him on tour, and he was clearly a Hispanic man. Now hold up, hold up, flag on the play. Before I get to the real story here of what this rant is about, as black people, we gotta make up our mind. She's trying to say Ice Spice ain't black. Now on one hand, we be wanting Hispanics to acknowledge their African roots. On the other hand, you saying her father was Latino, so she can't be black. Please make up your fucking mind. Not just when it fits whatever narrative you trying to put your spin on, keep that same energy at all times. Moving forward. Everybody's still mystified by all this Illuminati, satanic occult type action. There was a video that surfaced of Ice Spice holding hands during the prayer backstage, I don't know if it was before or after the show, with Talil and, a, and another group of people. I'm gonna play the video real quick and come back. Cause I'm trying to show up for Ice Spice like I'm Christian. Nah, I'm just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna just say this prayer so the Lord can protect us as we go through the rest of the night and the rest of our careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands. Lord, thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place, which is the top end. We are, we all want to experience different things in our lives, chat. So thank you so much for bringing all of us together. And I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each other. And I pray that you allow us to reach any measures in this life and just watch over us daily. You bless us. You allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft. And you help us enjoy this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, I need a bottle of rosé. Listen, shout out to all my Don Julio. What the fuck? <gasps> I just bought this shit. Oh. I just bought this shit. Whose tea is that? You were sitting right there, too. You yeah. knocked it over. How I knocked it over? Oh. Yeah, okay. Now listening to this prayer, yes, you can see that she wasn't taking it seriously at all, making mad faces. It wasn't that crazy, but she was definitely making faces, you can see. Uh, none of these niggas is genuine in this prayer. The music industry is the epitome of the devil's playground if there ever was one. I cringe every time people start thanking God on these award shows. Pay attention though, there's two things, two things. Um, after everybody says amen, you'll see Ice Spice mouth amen. But then she slicked those up the devil horns with her right hand. Real quick. Yes, bitch. I don't know about everybody else, but I saw you. Then they all stand up. Somebody spills a drink on the counter. Got on Tylil cargo pants. Immediately in the same breath as the amen, he start cursing up a storm. It's unbelievable how quick all them niggas went from Bible thumping Christians straight to the dark side. People don't be believing nothing these artists say, it's all cap, they trying to lead you to the hellfire right with them. Hey, be sure to like, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to jump in that comment section and let me know how you really feel about this whole ordeal. Till next time, I'm Doc Mindbender.